ISTQB Foundation Level, question 240. You are testing a simplified apartment search form which has only two search criteria. Floor with three possible options. Ground floor, first floor, second or higher floor. Garden type with three possible options. No garden, small garden, large garden. Only apartments on the ground floor may have gardens. The form has a built-in validation mechanism that will not allow you to use the search criteria which violate this rule. Each test has two input values, floor and garden type. You want to apply equivalent partitioning, EP, to cover each floor and each garden type in new tests. What is the minimal number of test cases to achieve 100% EP coverage? A. 3 B. 4 C. 5 D. 6 Take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to don't miss new ICQB questions and answers that will help you guaranteed and changing your skills. Join us on this learning journey. If you find value in that I do and my videos help you, then you have the option to donate through the links in the video description to I can release new videos on ISTQB questions on a regular basis. According to ISTQB syllabus, to achieve 100% coverage with equivalence partitioning, test design technique, test cases must exercise all identified partitions by covering each partition at last once. Small garden and large garden can go only with ground floor because only apartments on the ground floor may have gardens. So we need two test cases with ground floor which cover these two garden type partitions. Test case 1 – ground floor, small garden. Test case 2 – Ground floor, large garden. We need two more test cases to cover the two other floor partitions and a remaining garden type partition of no garden. Test case 3 first floor, no garden. Test case 4 second or high floor, no garden. In summary, correct answer is B. Four test cases is the minimal number of test cases to achieve 100% equivalence partitioning coverage and answers A, C, D are wrong. My recommendation. Please remember that we need to divide data into equivalence partitions and create tests in such a way that one value from an equivalence partition corresponds to one test. Explanation. Finally, let's look at the section 4.2.1 equivalence partitioning in the ISTQB syllabus. I suggest you figure out this section on your own. I think this question is not difficult for you if you watch my video channel for absolutely free only for subscribe. You could move mountains to achieve your dream. Don't stop. Never give up.